If you're back to school this week, drop a comment what your school. I'm curious, I wanna know, where are you from? Or Kutztown people here, in case you were wondering. Bay, graduated from there, I dropped out. Stay in school. <laughs> Clearly I wasted no time between the last Young LA video and this one. Can you blame me? No, I didn't think so. You remember my last video, we talked about the new core collection that's launching August 31st. As much as I love the core collection, I wanted to see more variety. I wanted to see what Young LA was truly about. They are known as a lifestyle brand, it says it right on their website. This is something I would like to incorporate more on this channel, more lifestyle pieces that we can wear every day. I know we do a lot of like seamless reviews, a lot of active wear in general. That's not gonna stop, but I really want some more pieces with more personality that just really speak. More fashion, more spunk. So I took your suggestions in the comments to heart and I did myself a little shopping spree. So in today's haul, you're gonna see a lot of pants actually. You're gonna see the new satin cargos they just came out with. Those really caught my eye. They styled it beautifully on the website. You guys are raving about their joggers. So I just had to give it a try for myself. I have a feeling we're gonna be reviewing a lot more from Young LA when new releases drop. So if you're interested, then definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you guys see anything you like in today's video or on their website in general, I do have a discount code, it's Ashley G. It does help support this channel big time. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. I am very new to Young LA still, so I grabbed everything in my true size. Check out my measurements over here. I'll have them in the description box below as well. And every piece you see in today's video will be linked down below as well. And all these pieces you see in today's video will also be linked down below. Let us talk about the Gloria Satin Joggers. Gloria, you're always on the run now. After I didn't just get one, but I got two. You're gonna see some duplicates of some of these pieces because I literally couldn't choose which color I wanted. The Glorious Satin Joggers. It's not every day that I come across cargo pants like this. The satin feel, I felt like it could really elevate a set if done right. You can wear it out casually, but yet spice it up with some heels. I feel like these cargos can do a whole lot. Now, the only time I really see them are with brands like, say, Express or something like that. They're usually very expensive and uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why I had faith in these. I said, you know what, if Young LA's dropping them, they're probably comfortable. I mean, they're an athleisure brand. I feel like comfort should be key. Talk about that in a second. Let's get up close and personal, shall we? So I grabbed them in the color black and khaki. I wanted both because I felt like black would be perfect for the fall season, October especially. The khaki, however, I felt like you could see a little more shine. Felt like with the neutral color, you can pair it easier with other things. It could work with a lot of stuff. What stood out to me was its semi-professional look. You really could style this if you're a college student, putting on a presentation, if you work in an office, but you can also wear it very casually as well. If you just wanna go for drinks one night, the bottoms are great. You could either wear them semi-wide leg or you can use the toggles at the ankle and cinch them in, which is exactly how I would wear them. I wish I sized up in these and it pains me that I have to return them and hope they're now in a size medium. <laughs> Are they, babe? Check for me. Right around the glutes is where I feel the snugness and right around the thighs. More importantly, they look too tight. Like anyone looking at me could say, girl, you, you bought a size too small. It's when I sit is when I feel, oh, these are just too tight. So keep that in mind. If you plan to be in an office or sitting down in these, you do see cellulite. But I do think that's because it was too small. If I sized up to a medium, I don't think it would be an issue. So definitely size up in these, especially if you're in between. There's really no stretch. Like satin, what did you expect? I should have known. What I really do appreciate is the fact that the waistband has stretch right in the back and actually ruches. So there was no digging in the midsection. I appreciate that. This part was perfect. It's right around the thighs, the legs, <laughs> the glutes especially. It's just not baggy enough for me. You do have two side pockets. There's no Velcro, no zip. They do in fact hold your phone properly. I tested it out. The back pockets, however, are completely faux. They are faux show. They're for show. 
Anyways, you do have belt loops, so you could totally wear a fancy little belt with this. You do have your traditional clasps in the front. Full zipper, I think they did a really good job on these all together. They don't have that cheap satiny feel, like how some shiny Halloween costumes have that plastic to the touch feel. No, this feels genuinely like satin, so it's not that cheapy look. It's not gonna give you a cheapy look. This is actually very classy. I think it's a very sophisticated, classy, chic look. I personally think if I sized up in those satin cargos, they would be my new go to Target pants. I don't know why that came to my head. Sometimes I dress up to just walk around Target. And in case you're wondering, I'm sure you were, I paired those satin cargos with their snatched bodysuits. Got one in black and brown. Oh my God, on camera, they look nearly the same shade. I promise they're not. Now I grabbed the black to have that black on black sexy cat woman look. These worked really well with those cargos. These are overall super simple. Square neck in the front and the back. Thick straps, non-adjustable, there's no pads, no built-in shelf bra. You're next to naked in this bad boy. There's uh, no option to insert any pads either. So these are pretty thick. Even though there's no bra pads, it is very double lined. So you don't have to really worry about no bra pads. If you're somebody who still wants to wear a bra, you could, because if it's cold out, you will see some peak happening underneath here. I don't think it's enough protection to necessarily disguise a peaked nip, but I do think it's good enough just on an everyday basis without needing to wear a bra underneath. You also have what I think is a really cool feature is some grip underneath the straps. Because it's such a wide neckline, sometimes with bodysuits, if you move a certain way, the straps will just fall off your shoulders or slowly make their way down at least. This prevents that, so that was thought out and very nice. This bodysuit fits a little bit snug, so if you're in between, you could size up. I wouldn't necessarily size up off the bat because I wouldn't want my midsection to be wrinkly. When you move around like normal bodysuits, you can see some wrinkle. What matters is when you're just staying put. How does it lay? And this is very body fit, so I had no issues there. I'm overall happy with my true size. This is your traditional style bodysuit where it's a bikini cut in the front, and in the back, it turns into a more thong style. Something interesting to note is that there's no clasp at the bottom of the thong. Fairly stretchable, they feel very durable, I'll give them that. It's not like super thin. I think that these are solid bodysuits. It's time to talk about the Dream Joggers. Again, again, I got to. <laughs> I couldn't choose. You know, I said fall time, I'm gonna really want this one. This is in the color brown wash. But then I also saw the red. This is a new color in the color deep red. If you had to choose between the two, brown's cool. Red is where it's at. These joggers fit exactly like I was hoping they would. Just from the sight, I already had some insight into how they would fit over the legs. Perfection, perfection. Right around the waist, it doesn't cinch in too much. It's very stretchy. Right around the booty, and the groin, there's such a relaxed fit to it where you can bend, move, it's so comfortable, yet it cuffs at the ankles, so you never have to worry about them being too long. I think it fits perfectly for that oversized relaxed fit. I wouldn't size up and I wouldn't size down. If you're in between, you could probably get away with sizing down. They got that baggy style, baby. So it's definitely baggy where it counts. You have two side pockets, they don't zipper. The text is in fact printed down the leg. If you look up close, it says Young LA, you have some roses, Young Dreamers Club, a butterfly, and then it gives you the definition of dreamer. Sees the invisible, feels the intangible, and achieves the impossible. But do keep in mind, girl, a vision without action is just a dream. It's gotta make it happen. Now the red does have a very, very in-your-face white logo. The brown washed, however, if you check out this logo, it's a very like warm beige. Just enough contrast where it's in your face, but not over the top. Super plush inside. So very, very warm, thicky joggers. Now these are the pieces I was talking about with the major personality, the street style. This is something where you could wear a crop top, walk around with a coffee, especially if you're in a city, very urban. I love it. It's got such a unique touch to it. I need more clothing like this in my life. A little pizzazz, a little something something just to give you like a, a real sick, nasty feeling. That's a good thing, I made it up. It doesn't make sense, but it's a good thing. The cargo fleece joggers. These are so damn trendy right now. 
I had to grab them. These were probably the highest recommended from my last video. All of you guys said the cargo fleece joggers were it. And I genuinely can see why. Few things to note about these. You can wear them completely wide leg, or you can cinch them in with the toggles at the bottom. I would probably off the bat toggle them slightly because as you can see from the footage, they're long on me. I'm five foot three, they drag on the floor a bit. You just gotta lift them up off the floor. So just a baby toggle will do that for you. In terms of logo placement, you do have a patch right on the pocket on the left side. These pockets are very similar to the cargo satins you saw, placed in the same exact spot. No zippers, no Velcro, can fit a phone perfectly. And you also have two regular pockets up top, none on the back side. Down each leg you do have a pretty bulky raised seam. Kind of looks like a pleat, like when you press pants, like if you're ironing them a certain way. That's what this is mimicking. Something I do really like about these joggers when I first put them on, they grabbed the tushy. They weren't baggy. I almost was like, oh, should I have sized up? I really don't think sizing up would have been beneficial to me because look how baggy the rest of this piece is. <laughs> Could you imagine me sizing up? No way, I'd be really swimming in these. They purposely wanted to have joggers that grab at the booty. But do keep that in mind if you have bigger glutes or wider glutes, you might feel a little snugness in the back, around the groin as well. Wearing underwear kept this seam from really riding up. So I would suggest wearing your undies, but do keep in mind with it being snug around this area, if you sit, it does dip in the back. When squatting down, it dips as well. Be mindful of that, especially if you're in public. If you're wearing a high-waisted thong, you're gonna see it. When I really pulled them up before I sat down, they were okay. But if you're just chilling and you go to sit, you might see a thong. No, please have mercy. No. If you have larger hips and glutes than me, that's probably the only time I would suggest sizing up if you're in between. If you're my body type or smaller, you could probably just stick with your true size. These are plush inside, very cozy, very thick. In terms of density, these cargo joggers are a lot heavier. They're weighing my arm down. So just in case you're thinking, hmm, which one should I go with? Between these two, if you want something more lightweight, the Dreamer joggers are for you. Something more thick, something more dense, cargo joggers. Last but not least, just throwing this in. This is what I paired with the joggers. This is their ribbed sports bra in the color light taupe. Now, moving around, I've been wearing this for a good two hours now. I can feel some under booby slipping up. <laughs> So let me just put that down there. This is an extremely lightweight, low support sports bra that I would only recommend for recreational use. Like if you're just grabbing a coffee real quick, heading back to a dorm room. <laughs> you're not something you're necessarily gonna try to be wearing all day, especially good for if you're lounging around the house. Writing a paper on the weekends. Notice all the college references because we're back to school people. Well, not me. So if you look closely, there's a very fine rib to this bra, which just screams low key lounge to me. You also have a black gripped printed on text at the bottom here. Now, me moving around, it ends up folding in under itself and then you can't even see the logo at all. I mean, that's what you get with low support, you know what I'm saying? There's no band, no support underneath the under bust, not even, uh, not even a little bit. Another reason why I don't think this would be the best for all day wear is that these straps here, although they are adjustable, they're very stiff and they're thin. So after a while of wearing, especially if you have larger breasts, this could start to really dig. I don't like flossing up my shoulders. The plus side is they came with removable bra pads. I do think smaller breasts would be very happy in this. If you're in between, if you're similar to my body type, or smaller, you could probably get away with sizing down. I do notice a little excess material right here. If you have larger breasts than me, you might wanna consider sizing up if you're in between. But if you're not in between, true size is good to go. Okay, what are you guys thinking about this Young LA haul? What are your thoughts? Did we get a little more taste from this one? I personally think Young LA did a great job on their bottoms. I can see why you guys have been raving. I see why they're so popular and so hyped up. I think that for the price, these are all averaging a little less than $50 each. I think that's fair. For what you're getting, for the quality, I do. I think that's very fair. Definitely comment down below if you'd like to see more Young LA reviews. I am very open to trying more. I'm loving what I've been trying so far. And I can't wait to see what else we have in store. I appreciate you guys being here. I love you all and I will catch you in my next video.